Morning folks. Cheers for joining me for what is a bit of a bonus episode of Birding with Damien. I've got myself a day from work. You know, got up nice and early, Saturday morning, ran the vac around the house, did a wash load. And uh, I've actually got some free time between now and, well, my next task. So the weather wasn't looking too bad. Um, got a bit of a dark sky back there, so I'm gonna have to wrap this up nice and quick. But I figured since I've got a couple of hours spare, I might as well come over to the local patch and basically just see what I can find. So in this episode, there's gonna be none of that sort of fancy establishing, you know, establishing the area that you're all going on. <laughs> but yeah, it's windy. It's just gonna be looking for some birds in the local area. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. typical British fashion, the weather has no idea what it's doing today. It was just absolutely chucking it down and now it's beautiful and sunny again. But I just had a little bullfinch. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> I haven't seen one in a while, at least, you know, half decently. He was kind of tucked away in a bush, uh, adult male, beautiful red. But I'm just happy to see him really, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to be winning any awards today, but just happy to be out about. <sighs> Let's see what else we can get. From this point on, I'm essentially going to be on a voiceover, as when I was recording my outro, I well and truly got rained out. And well, not just rain, but hail. And you'd never guess it by looking at this imagery right now in the, you know, quite nice sunshine. But holy hell, the weather turned thick and fast. But you know, up until that, I'd actually say my day was going pretty well. I only really spent maybe two hours out and about. But the list of species I saw was quite impressive for my little patch. So you know, here on screen right now is a little blue tit. But I had great tit, I had cold tit, I had green finch, I had like beautiful bullfinch. And you know, given again, only out for about an hour and a half, two hours, I was well happy with that. Though it must be said, I was out here around maybe two or three days beforehand. No cameras, but you know, just my binoculars. I did actually see in here some skylarks, and you know, not so secretly, I was kind of hoping to see them again. But maybe the bad weather had pushed them off to somewhere a bit more secure. I was also on the lookout for wheat ears. So I follow a few WhatsApp groups, Twitter pages, and all that, and I know they've been spotted in the Midlands. Well, my little local birding patch around Yaronovka two years ago, I had around 15 to 20 wheezies in that field. And I've kind of been hoping for a repeat. I even had yellow, um, what do you call it? Yellow wagtails in there as well, and a ring goozle. So it's always worth keeping an eye on your local patch as you never really know what's gonna pop up. It's only a small little area I keep an eye on, but I've had some absolutely stonking species in there before and when you look I might see some more awesome species once again so as always thank you so much for joining me for this little bonus episode happy birding folks have a good one cheers